This is Good Morning America. And it is a new comedy series from a rather unexpected source, the Chipotle restaurant chain. So why are they getting into showbiz? It's all in the name of feeding us a message. I have to tell you, this is indeed one of the funniest things I have ever seen, and it's getting the company's message across. Carol, this goes beyond a quirky Super Bowl ad, doesn't it? Yeah. So when Tom is done watching Downton Abbey or <laughs> just the new black, he can now watch something from Chipotle. Why am I here? This is the biggest improvement in agriculture since synthetic growth hormones. What is? Petro pellet is a game changer. Petro pellet? You're feeding cattle petroleum? Nobody wants oil in the food chain. Well, sure they do. There's peanut oil, olive oil. Side effects? Do they know what caused the cattle to explode? If it wasn't jihad, I would put my money on the petroleum. Let's not overthink it, all right? They pay us to fix their image, not their cattle. You're supposed to make sure this thing doesn't get out. Google Adam Oil cow explosion video. Why are my cows exploding all over the internet? <laughs> We surrounded Farmed and Dangerous with a universe of elements that built awareness of the show's connection to Chipotle. We began with a teaser campaign for the show featuring our star, Buck Marshall, in a series of public service announcements. You know, people often ask me why industrial agriculture needs image consultants. As if our existence is an admission, we have something to hide. Really? Is a trip to the beauty parlor an admission you're ugly? Not in every case. Buck Marshall and the twisted world of Farmed and Dangerous were being talked about everywhere. This may look like the start of any other new TV show, but it is quite possibly the future of advertising. It premiered on Hulu next to the biggest network shows on television. One episode came the second most popular show on Hulu that day. We partnered with the Huffington Post to create a social impact section on food and agriculture in America. Food for Thought quickly grew to over one and a half million unique visitors per month, the most successful social impact section in Huffington Post history. All of these elements drove awareness and social interaction across the social media universe. I love it. Raise awareness, right? I'm faced with a Chipotle, a Taco Bell, a McDonald's. I'm definitely going to go with the Chipotle. Those people died from eating, not starving. That's progress. <laughs>